What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna be talking about ways that you can get through a plateau in your training and how to just increase your strength. So grab a cup of coffee and let's dive on into it. All right, guys, so like I said, we're gonna be talking about some ways that hopefully you can blast or any plateaus you're having in your training or figure out why maybe you are not getting the gains uh, with your training at this time. So I'm gonna give you guys five tips that I fall back on myself whenever I'm feeling like I'm going through a sticky point and hopefully these will help you as well. I also wanna piggyback and say that this happens to everybody. I go through plateaus. I have a lot of clients that go through sticky points in their training. So it's inevitable that this is gonna happen, but just understand we all go through it and it's just a, just part of the process with training. So just keep pushing through it, have a really positive mindset and you'll get through it. Now the first two tips that I'm gonna talk about have to deal with programming and we're gonna cover those now. So the first thing to think about is your goal with training. Now, more often than not, I see people who wanna be a strong man, weightlifter, power lifter, bodybuilder, as well as being an underwater, deep sea, great white shark fighter. Shark week. But you get what I'm saying. If you guys wanna get good at something, you need to get specific to whatever it is that you wanna get good at. So if you wanna be a power lifter, you need to focus on power lifting. If you wanna be a strong man, you have to focus on strong man. If you wanna be a crossfitter, you have to focus on crossfit. The more that you add on to whatever it is that your goal you're trying to attain, the less the progress is going to progress, or it's just gonna progress a lot slower. So if you guys are stuck somewhere or maybe you're not getting your gains as fast as possible, then you need to get more specific on whatever it is you wanna get better at. Another addition to this point is that if you're on a program, make sure you stick to the program and see it through its entirety. Don't just get on a program for one or two weeks and then hop to another program and then keep hopping back and forth because it's not going to give you the results that you want. You need to see something all the way through from start to finish and then move on to something else. Tip number two is stop doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result. Now, if you're on a program that's working, awesome, continue to do it. But if you keep running the same program time and time again, and you aren't progressing, something is wrong and you need to make a change. Could simply be that you just adapted to that program over time and you need to give yourself a totally new stimulus to cause some new gains and growth. Another little programming tip, instead of people going actually too hard in the gym, what I think they're doing is they're actually not getting enough volume or frequency with the lifts. And I've talked about this over and over again, so watch some of my previous videos that I can link above here. But you guys, if you're in a plateau, you need to increase the volume or the frequency or play around with some sort of those variables when it comes to programming. Tip number three is nutrition. This is a huge one, and this is something that I was really guilty of, uh, and it was actually, just the misconception of what I thought I was eating versus what I actually was eating. And for a long time, I was actually under eating. So if you're trying to get big and strong and you guys aren't eating enough, it's simply not gonna happen. You need to be in some sort of caloric surplus to be making great gains. And uh, we've talked about that whole concept of can you you know, gain strength and uh, be in a deficit at the same time. So I'll link that video up here, but more often than not, really you need to focus on one or the other. And if you're trying to get stronger, you need to be getting in the fuel that is proper to give you the gains that you're looking for. I always suggest eating lots of nutrient dense food over garbage. I just think long-term it's gonna be better for you uh, and you're gonna feel a lot better and perform better when training. So nutrient dense food over garbage any day. Another thing in the nutrition department is gonna be protein intake. I recommend if you're trying to get strong, you need to have a high protein intake. So that can be anywhere from 0.8 grams to 1.2, 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight. Now the studies have also shown that nothing too bad is gonna to happen to you with a high protein intake as long as you are medically okay and don't have any sort of weird issues when it comes to digesting protein. The only side effect of eating too much protein is you may just get too jacked. I'm all right with that side effect. Now, another little nutrition tip that I use personally for myself is, say I have you know three to five meals, I wanna make sure that I take my protein, divide that however many meals I'm having for that day, and split that up in each meal. Now, when it comes to carbs, I like to do a 30-30 split. So I'll do 30% of my carbs uh, prior to my workout, and then 30% of my carbs post my workout with whatever uh, meal that I'm having. 
When it comes to fats, I like to keep my fats away from my training because strength training is very anaerobic uh, and I want to make sure that I'm using the carbs as my primary fuel source. So the fats will be either earlier in the day or later at night, but not in the before or after uh, meals for training. I've done some video in the past with how I handle my macros and meals that I eat, so I'll link that up here for you guys to check that out if you're interested. All right, tip number four, and this is a big one, it's obvious, but we always need to be reminded of this, and I know not everybody's schedules allow this depending on work, family life, whatever, but really make it a priority if you can, and that is sleep. Sleep is so important when it comes to just recovering. You know, when we go to the gym, we're constantly tearing the muscle down. That's actually not when it grows. The muscle growth happens outside of the gym when we're sleeping, okay? Or we're just not doing much work. Uh, so trying to get in that rest and recovery time outside of the gym is very crucial. Now, I recommend anywhere from six to eight hours of sleep if you can. And what this means is good quality sleep. So that means getting off your phone, blue light devices such as TVs, and being in a nice relaxing environment. You don't wanna be you know, tense or stressed prior to going to bed. Something that has helped me is actually reading books because it kind of lets my mind just wander and I end up kind of getting a little bit sleepy and then it just puts me in the right mood to just pass out. So guys, sleep is super important, especially for your hormones, just kind of making sure everything's in balance and in check, your brain, making sure that your brain is working correctly and just getting you that overall uh, recovery to actually go back and train the rest of the week. Last tip, tip number five, and this is a small tip, but I think it has a huge carryover to your training and actually you as a person, and that is your training environment. You wanna make sure that you are in a super positive and encouraging environment wherever you train, whenever you train. And this is gonna help one, because it's gonna make you wanna show up to the gym more often because you're around awesome people. It's gonna help because these people are probably super strong, and if they're not, you wanna find a gym where there are super strong people because if they're super strong, and you're not the strongest guy in the gym, you're gonna progress a lot faster and you're gonna learn a lot of things that are gonna help you progress faster. So just being in that environment is just gonna cultivate those results. And if you're in a negative environment where you don't wanna be there, or people are talking trash and there's drama, it's just hard to show up every day consistently. So that, as a gym owner, that's something that I really try to cultivate here, is an awesome culture uh, that breeds positivity, encouragement, and results. So. Just something for you guys to think about is where you train, you know, what's the environment like? What are the people like? Are they people you wanna hang out with, be around, train with? Are they encouraging you? Are they building you up or are they cutting you down? These are just some thoughts you should ask yourself and have a deep conversation with. If you're answering that, you know, for the most part, they're super positive and encouraging, that's awesome and I'm happy for you. But if you're starting to see that there are some negative people in there or people who don't want what's best for you or people who are trying to pull you down, it may be time for you to check out a different gym or maybe just start your own garage gym uh, so that you're in control of all those variables and you can help progress yourself. So there you guys have it. Those are my five tips to help get you through a plateau or a sticky point in your training or just kind of help progress you further in your strength journey. So like I said earlier in the video, guys, this happens to everybody. So don't think it's just happening to you. We all go through plateaus and we all have to push through them. If you just decide to give up, you're not gonna ever reach your full potential. So you need to come face to face with it. You have to run up to that wall and break through it. Now it may seem like a long time, but that's okay. What matters is that every day you show up and you're trying to make little changes here and there to just become better. And eventually, if you keep doing this, you will become better. So I hope these tips helped you guys out with your strength training journey. If you can, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video. And if you want, comment down below with whatever has helped you get through your plateau or just a tough time in your training. So be interested to hear your thoughts. But until then, guys, be a lean, mean, strength machine. I'll catch up with you next time. Peace.